Wow! What an incredible view. Japan, a place where 70% of the land is mountainous. Hiking is actually very popular here. From beginners to experts, men and women of all ages are able to experience the wide diversity of nature that mountains offer. The trail we'll be hiking this time is easy and suitable for beginners and is also known for its breathtaking views. We'll leave from one of Japan's most famous mountain resort areas and head out to the Karasawa Cirque, said to have one of the country's most beautiful autumn landscapes. It's like the perfect yes. scene here. Oh yes, yes, fantastic. On this trip, we'll bring our cameras along to capture beautiful moments as we hike. Wow, oh, nice. <laughs> Good smile. A spectacular natural landscape, unlike any other, along with people who love the mountains. Come oh. by, cheers. <laughs> Let's go on a journey up in the mountains to discover another very special side of Japan with Let's Trek Japan. This time, we'll be heading to the central part of Japan's mainland, to the Northern Alps, a mountain range with 3,000 meter high mountains. The starting point of our journey is Kamikochi in Nagano Prefecture. Kamikochi is a nature conservation area where private vehicles are not permitted. Only authorized buses and taxis are allowed. Tourists and hikers can take convenient buses that go directly there from major cities such as Tokyo or Osaka, also from near the area's entrance. Kamikochi is the gateway to the Northern Alps, attracting many hikers. Hi, my name is Pauline Kidamura, and I've been living here in Japan for more than 20 years and have fallen totally in love with the mountains in Japan. I currently work as a hiking guide here, I would love to share with you the joys of hiking in Japan. And we're headed to Karasawa Cirque. Karasawa Cirque is very famous in Japan for its autumn leaves. And right now, it should be at its peak. And we should be able to see some amazing, amazing colors. I'm really, really excited to head over. It's raining right now, but we're gonna have a good time. Let's go. We're now heading to Karasawa in early October, which is when the autumn leaves are at their peak. We're hoping to see some spectacular views. The hiking course is a three-day, two-night trip from Kamikochi to the Karasawa Cirque, located at an altitude of 2,310 meters. On the first day, we follow a river. At the 10-kilometer point, we enter a mountain trail. After walking 16 kilometers, we arrive at Karasawa known for its spectacular views of autumn leaves. One night at a unique mountain lodge, the next day we will be staying in a tent. It's not about reaching the summit. We will be immersing ourselves in nature to fully enjoy the autumn foliage and beautiful views. Wow, look at the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. The clouds are coming off the mountains right now. This bridge here is Kapabashi, and it's this famous symbol of Kamikochi. A lot of tourists come here to take photos on this bridge and to get with the mountains in the background, and it's a very, very beautiful. Kamikochi is one of Japan's top mountain resorts with many luxury hotels. Located at an elevation of 1,500 meters, it's cool in summer. It's also a national park, where more than 1.2 million people come and visit every year to enjoy the natural beauty of the Northern Alps. Oh, the water's so cold. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, the water 
It's this beautiful blue-green color. It's, and it's very clear. The source of this beautiful river is melted snow and rain that has fallen in the Northern Alps. Our destination, the Karasawa Cirque, is located on the other side of the Hotaka mountain range. To get there, we'll follow a long but relatively flat trail along the river that will take us around the mountain. Look, here's a boardwalk. They've got these long boardwalks all along here and it makes it really easy to walk on and it protects the vegetation below. Make sure to stay on the boardwalk as we don't want to step on the rare plants that are protected by the national park. Wow, look at this, it's so beautiful. The river is flowing so gently and it's so quiet. The trees are growing out of the water and you've got the mountains in the background and the peaceful river gently flowing. It's like, it's like the trees were artificially put here and it's a landscape, a man-made landscape, a Japanese garden. This is the Dakesawa Marsh. Several streams have converged, causing the water level to rise and submerge the roots of the trees, creating a mystical landscape. Oh, look, fish over there. Can you see right there? The water is so clear. Look, a bear bell. There are bears in Kamikochi, so I'm going to give it a ring. One for me and another for the people around us. In the mountainous areas of Japan, you may encounter bears. In fact, many incidents of bear attacks have been reported. As bears are sensitive to sound, ringing a bear bell will help you avoid any unwanted encounters with bears. However, the wildlife that you are most likely to encounter in Kamikochi are Japanese macaque monkeys a species native to Japan. Although they are cute, do not feed them, as this could cause them to lose their ability to find food in the wild. It's our duty as humans to protect these animals and the precious natural environment in which they live. Oh, look, it's a Tori gate. Once you go through the gate, the area beyond the gate is considered sacred. This is Hotaka Shrine. It protects the mountains. Look, there's a small shrine where we can do a prayer right at the edge of the water. When I first came to Japan, I was told that the gods reside in everything in nature. And that was kind of hard for me to grasp coming from North America. But after being here in Japan and visiting a lot of mountains and coming to places like this, you really do get the feeling that this place is special, it feels sacred. And you really do start to feel that, yes, the gods do reside here. Once a year during autumn, usually in October, when the mountains start to change color, a Shinto ritual is held at Myojin Ike, a pond. People express their appreciation for blessings given to them by the mountains during the year and pray for the safety of people who spend time in the mountains.
Next to the shrine is Kamonji Goya, a mountain lodge, built in 1880. Here, you can taste the blessings of nature. Fresh Iwana mountain trout inhabit the pure water that comes down from the mountains. The fish are slowly grilled over a hearth, using traditional methods handed down over many generations. This is called an irori. This sunken hearth is a traditional cooking area that provides heating and lighting for a house and is a gathering place for families. It is also considered a sacred place where the god of fire dwells and is carefully cared for as the guardian deity of a family home. Here, hikers eat their fill before continuing on their mountain journey. <laughs> mm, to the mountains and the water, allowing me to enjoy this really delicious fish. After eating, we'll walk for another two hours through the forest to Yoko O Ohashi, a bridge at the 10 kilometer mark. We made it. We're here. This is Yoko Mountain Hut. That was flat trail, but a very long trail. Yay! Yoko O Sanso, located 10 kilometers from the start, is the last lodge before Karasawa. Make sure to prepare for the remainder of the hike by filling your water bottles and stopping by the washroom. Oh, look. There's a sign by the bridge. Do not start a hike after 2 p.m. for your safety. Once we cross the Yoko O Ohashi Bridge, we will begin hiking up a steep and rocky mountain trail. It will take about three hours to reach Karasawa, our final destination. We must pass the bridge by 2 p.m. at the latest to reach our destination while there's still daylight. Once it becomes dark, the risk of accidents increases, so it's very important to keep track of time. Before heading up the mountain, make sure that you have proper hiking gear. A sturdy pair of hiking shoes are a must. Mid-cut boots that go up to the ankle are recommended, as there are many rocky sections along the trail. Always carry rainwear and warm clothing. Even if it's not winter, sudden rain or cold weather could put you at risk of hypothermia. You will see the importance of this first hand later on during this trip. It's a huge cliff, really steep. Towering before us is Byobu Iwa, one of Japan's largest rock walls, rising to a height of 600 meters. This huge granite rock wall was created by magma and is almost vertical. It's revered by experienced rock climbers who dream of climbing it at least once in their lifetime. Just look at this. Look how red that is. So beautiful. As we increase our elevation, we're starting to see a lot of reds and yellows. Even if you're tired, when you see beautiful scenery like this, it just really keeps you motivated to keep going. Oh, look at this. The leaves are so yellow. This is why I like to climb mountains in the autumn. In Japan, going into the mountains to view autumn leaves has been a custom for more than 1,000 years. Japan has many places famous for their beautiful fall colors. Autumn foliage viewing is a very popular activity. Among them, our destination, Karasawa Cirque, is a particularly popular spot for viewing autumn leaves. Many people are hiking up to it, hoping to see this spectacular view. 
What will it look like this time? This rocky, steep trail is going to continue for the next two hours. Although the hiking trail is well maintained, to make sure there are no dangerous spots, it is important to stay alert and carefully proceed one step at a time. As we continue to climb up the trail, to our surprise, it begins to snow. The temperature drops down to zero degrees Celsius, which is unusually cold for this time of year. It's really starting to snow. It's freezing. <sighs> the snow is getting heavier, but we're almost at the mountain lodge. Oh, I see them. I see the mountain hut. We're getting really close now. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted, but it feels so good to me to have made it all the way to the top. I'm gonna check out the rooftop terrace before I check in. I can't believe this, there's so much snow up here. Really incredible. Snow during the autumn climbing season in Karasawa is an extremely rare occurrence. For the first night, we will stay at this mountain lodge and warm up at the Karasawa Hut, located at an elevation of 2,310 meters. Hikers who came to see the autumn leaves also seem to be surprised at the unusual sight of snow. <laughs> Our first time to see snow at the mountain, and it's pretty like wonderful. So I'm so surprised to see like, this view. There's a shop that sells food on the terrace where people can enjoy their meals while enjoying the view. For over 60 years, this has been the number one popular dish loved by hikers. Made of eggs, daikon radish, and fish cakes slowly boiled in a mild broth. This is Japanese soul food. It's called oden. After spending time in the snow and the freezing cold, the warm broth soothes and warms up your body. This mountain lodge is located in a very unique spot, even within Japan. Spread out like a bowl, below a row of 3,000 meter high mountain peaks lies Karasawa, this kind of terrain is called a cirque. About 20,000 years ago, this area was completely covered by glaciers. As a heavy glacier moved down the U-shaped mountains, it carved out a huge bowl-shaped depression.
with a diameter of two kilometers. The difference in elevation between Mount Okuhotaka and the bottom of the bowl is 900 meters. It's the largest glacial cirque in Japan, and the mountain lodge is built right in the middle at the bottom of the bowl. Actually, there's a reason why they built the mountain lodge in this location. In front of the lodge is Mount Okuhotaka, the third tallest mountain in Japan, at 3,190 meters. Also, you can see Mount Maehotaka, Mount Karasawa, and Mount Kitahotaka. This lodge was built in a rare and ideal location with a panoramic view of four 3,000 meter peaks. Due to heavy snowfall, the mountain lodge is closed during the winter season and only open to hikers for about six months of the year, starting from late April through early November. It's challenging for them to maintain the mountain lodge at this location. The first mountain lodge was built here in 1951. However, it was swept away and destroyed by avalanches two years in a row. So, the lodge staff came up with an ingenious solution to protect the lodge against avalanches. They reinforced the building with a stone wall and built the entire mountain lodge basically underground. The terraces and other exposed areas are dismantled every year to prepare for avalanches. During winter, the entire lodge is covered with snow. Once winter ends, the most important job of the year for the lodge staff is to dig the lodge out from under the snow. まあ、あの建物が全て雪の下で10日ぐらい毎日雪掘り仕事時には体力的にもみんなバテバテてですけども本当にそれが一つ一つ出てくとやっぱおお、よく頑張ったなっていう何ともある雪に耐えてくれて
futons neatly set up in each section. Going up these stairs. Hello. Konnichiwa. Mountain huts in Japan often have shared rooms like this beside a stranger, but if you talk to them, you can become friends with them and um, just be considerate, considerate of others when you're sharing the room. Many mountain lodges do not have beds, so you'll need to lay out the futons they provide. At lodges, the futon sheets are reused, so bringing your own inner sheet can help maintain cleanliness and allow you to sleep more comfortably. Dinner at the lodge is served at specific times. Make sure to confirm the time upon check-in. The meals provided are nutritionally balanced for hikers. Normally, the lights go off at the lodge at around 8 or 9 p.m. Be considerate of those around you and enjoy the evening quietly. are covered in snow just all around us. It's like a winter wonderland. It changed overnight. On our second day, we venture into a rare and spectacular world where autumn leaves and snow coexist. We ask an expert who knows Karasawa, like the back of his hand, to guide us. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Oguchi. to meet you. Hi, I'm Oguchi. Nice to, Hi. Good Hi. to meet you. <laughs> Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So I brought my camera with me. Okay. Oguchi Kazutoshi is a mountain photographer who has taken magnificent photos, not only of Japan's peaks, but also the majestic mountains of the European Alps and the Himalayas. He fell in love with the scenery in Karasawa and has since come back every year to capture its four seasons with his camera. This is the first time in 20 years that snow has fallen in Karasawa during the autumn foliage season. Yeah, あの、声の色も鮮やかになりましたしね。それと真っ白な世界とちょっとありえない。ありえない世界ですね。この辛さの秋の紅葉を撮りに来て何十回っていうか撮ってると思いますけど、でもここれだけ真っ白に辛さから
Oh, look, it's so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, wow. beautiful, beautiful. This hiking trail was also made by the Mountain Lodge staff so that hikers can enjoy Karasawa from various angles. The path is regularly maintained to make sure there are no dangerous spots. This, there's so much snow on this Japanese pine tree called Haimatsu. Haimatsu is a shrub that grows very low to the ground in alpine regions. It is an evergreen conifer. What is that? On this part, there's a, a tree's tunnel. A tunnel? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we go? Yes. Okay. The next photo spot Oguchi is taking us to is a tunnel of colorful autumn leaves. This is so beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. The tunnel. Tunnel, it's yes. A yes. tunnel of red leaves, yellow leaves, green leaves, and snow. Hi. Hey, please, I'm you go for Okay. Go ahead. Okay. And Tell me where to stop. Take a picture. Okay, stop, stop. Okay. Stop there. Okay. Placing a person in the middle of a picture of colorful autumn leaves and snow looks like they've become part of the autumn leaves, which makes for a very impressive photo. Oh, Mr. Oguchi, can I take a photo of you too as well? Oh, thank yeah? you very much. Okay. Ready? Okay, one more, one more. One more? Yeah. Hi. Okay, <laughs> thank, thank you. Very much. Wow, yeah. nice, nice. Good smile. Black bear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The next thing Mr. Oguchi is showing us is this cute rock that is known as the mascot for the Hotaka mountain range. And here is a special spot that Oguchi really wants to show us. Oh, this is a special spot. Yeah. This one. Ah, <laughs> okay. Very nice. This is very nice. A so panorama. Viewpoint. Yes, yes. Panorama? A bull. It feels like I'm inside a bull, a nature bull. So when you look at this side over here, You've got the red leaves, yellow leaves, green leaves, and it's like autumn over there. And then you turn around to this side, and you see mountains, snow-covered mountains, and it's like winter over here. So it's like I have two seasons in both hands. It's an amazing thing to see. The best part of taking photos while hiking is that we get a snapshot of each unique moment during the changing of the seasons. It's just so worth the hike to come here and see this. Thank you so much for bringing me here. Yeah, I'm happy also. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy yeah. you brought me here. Right. Yeah. Uh, good day. The trail continues to follow the colorful trees. Oh, poor son. So, that's just so beautiful, Narakamado. Yes. Yeah, very colorful. The star of this beautiful show is the bright red Japanese Nanakamado. In this car, the number of Nanakamado is more than any other area. 
、はい、なので非常にこの赤が金沢の公園の中で目立ちますその他に黄色に色づくダケカンバもたくさんありますしもう一つ重要なのはハイマツの緑なんですねそのハイマツの緑がこのカラフルなその紅葉たちを一層引き立ててくれると唐沢は本当にそのバランスが素晴らしいです山と紅葉とのこの織りなす構図というのかな本当にあの素晴らしいなと思いますはいポルさん Look at that And this is a n a k a m a d u The seed This is seed, yeah? seed. Yeah, try it. So, Close up. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's Let's start. With photography, we are able to focus on the micro side of this impressive nature, which we tend to forget. Let's take a closer look at the plants below our feet. とても広いこういうワイドな世界、えー、それと目の前の小さなあの世界もうやっぱり同じこの場にいてそういう,こう違いをねやはりこう感じるまたあの見方もそのようにこう、えー、変えて見ていくと非常にあの味わえると思いますはいとても面白い世界ですよね注意しないとでもすぐ見逃してしまう I wouldn't have even noticed if you didn't tell me、はいはいはい、そういうこう、yeah. いつも何かね見方をバリエーションを持っているととても味わえると思います、はい、Thank you、はい、By taking a photo we can freeze this amazing moment of these ever changing mountains into a single image Oguchi is one of the many who are mesmerized by Karasawa. I was born in the first place of the first place. I was born in the first place of the first place. I was born in the first place of the first place of the first place of the first place. I was born in the first place of the first place of the first place of the first place. 感動を受けますねやっぱり予想を超えるんですよねだからねおそらく自分がまだ出会ってない世界に多分出会えるんですよねまあそういうのをこう期待しながら自分が登ってこれる限り登り続けたいな来続けたいなというふうにね思いますねはいやっぱりありがたいと思うんですねやっぱ来るとねごめんなさい<笑>、うん、やっぱりねここに来るとなんかね本当になんだろうねやっぱりこう嬉しいねもう一人はこの場所に来るとこの場所に Countless colorful tents are scattered around the landscape. At its peak, there will be over a thousand, almost looking like a jewelry box at night. For our second night, we will be camping at a campsite that's next to the mountain lodge. Here, you can hire out tents and sleeping bags, and the staff can assemble the tent for you. It's better to phone them and book in advance. This is my rental tent for tonight. And as you can see, the campground here is really, really rocky. But when you look underneath the tent here, there's a wooden board. And this comes with the rental tent. So with that underneath it, it's very flat and comfortable. ここの雪の景色ですけどこのワイドビューすぎてなんかどこ見てもすごい圧巻されちゃってそう頑張って登ってきたっていう辛さを持ってさっきちょっとここで泣いてました<笑><笑>日本一綺麗な紅葉
、見てくださいよ、この、ね、人生72年、一番いい思いを思いというか、<笑>そんな感じですね、素晴らしいですね。The best part of camping is that you can cook and eat in the midst of serene nature. Ramen is something that Pauline often makes when she's up in the mountains, and it's a dish that keeps you warm. All the ingredients can be bought at convenience stores. Oh, that looks good. Mmm, nice and hot and tasty. Sit outside, watch the mountains around you, and have a warm ramen noodle dinner. This is why I love camping. As it gets darker outside and the lights start to turn on inside the tents, the landscape starts to glitter. When you spend the night here, you can also sparkle like a jewel. We invited Oguchi to our tent to thank him for today. So we make a toast with local wine. Cheers, come by. Oguchi! 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 Morning, son. Yes. I see stars out. Oh. Wow. You can see so many stars out. Oh. You can't see this in the city at all. It's because we're in Karasawa that we can see so many stars like this. And it's amazing. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Wow. Oh, dear. Oh my gosh, I can't yeah, believe yeah, you yeah, captured yeah. this on uh, camera. Oh yeah. Okay, with your camera. With my camera. Yeah, yeah. Try. Three, two, two one. one. Zero. Zero. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. The silhouette of the mountains and the so, stars above yeah, it. So yeah, beautiful. Yeah, many, many stars. There's so many stars. Okay. We are able to capture an image of Cassiopeia, the W shaped constellation signifying autumn at night. There's just stars all over. Chodo Karasa Karu wa Sanzen Meter o Kosu Yamayama ni Oan no yoni kakumarte mas ne. De, so suru to kono hoshizora ga chodo ko. Look at this spectacular one of a kind starry night. So, the Yapari Kono Hotaka no Yamani Kakomar Teru to you to Koronga. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic yeah. planetarium. Oh, that was a falling star. That was a falling star. I just saw a falling star. This is the first time I saw a falling, falling star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next morning at 5.30, hikers wake up early to enjoy a very special moment. Good morning. I'm up early in the morning to hopefully see what we call Morgengrot. I'm really excited because it's everyone's here. Everyone gets 
really early in the morning to see this. And the moment arrives. I'm starting to see some red up on the mountains there. The sun is coming up. Oh, it's coming. Morgenrot occurs early in the morning when the sun rises from the east and the rays from the sun illuminate the mountain range, making the mountains appear to glow red. This phenomenon is named after the German word for morning glow. This beautiful sight can only be seen for a few minutes. Oguchi also didn't miss the moment when the mountains looked their most beautiful. Oguchi has photographed this phenomenon in Karasawa many times. The Hotaka mountain range shows a new side of itself every day. To see this magical early morning view is a privilege only for those who have spent the night in Karasawa. At that moment, the sun that has been hiding appears, shining on the mountains of Hotaka. Wow! Oh! So beautiful. It's bright out, it's sunny out, and the weather's perfect. And I'm able to see the entire Hotaka mountain range, all the peaks, snow-capped peaks, and the blue sky. I've been to a lot of mountains in Japan, but this is my first time in Karasawa. And as we got closer, it started to rain. And then it started to snow, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, will I be able to see autumn? And then the next day, the sun comes out and I can see blue sky and snowy mountain peaks with autumn leaves below it. And it was just this most amazing, spectacular scenery. Fall and winter coming together. I also met Mr. Oguchi who gave me some really great photography tips to be able to capture this on my camera. If you come to Japan, I would highly, highly recommend coming here because it's such an amazing way to experience the Japan Alps. Today's hiking route is about 16 kilometers, one way to Karasawa. Let's make sure to pay attention to the trail when we're walking back. Aside from the mountains being closed due to snow in winter, from late April to early November, you can enjoy every season with its unique, beautiful scenery, including spring, summer, and fall. When hiking, don't forget to hand in your hiking itinerary. This has your planned route, hiking members' information, and emergency contact. This is key when rescuing people from being stranded if need be. This form can also be submitted online. Once you're prepared, let's go up into the mountains of Japan. <laughs> 